Bonjour. Yo. What's good, everybody? We out here. We live. What's going on? Yo, so I was live earlier. I said I was going to be back on in like five minutes. Time flew by. I went to go get ice cream, and I didn't wind up going live right away. So I'm live now. Wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys before I go to sleep tonight. I missed you guys. Pin for Sartorians, I got you. I'm going to pin that. You know. How are you guys doing? Hola, Ana, como estas? I love you too, Jacob underscore cutie. I hope you're doing well. Damn, my hair always sticking out. What? What's that for? Te amo. How are you guys doing? Damn. Late night broadcast, we got some people up in this. Let's do it. If you guys need advice on anything, let's do it. I'm, I want to give some advice. I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood to have a deep conversation about life. I know I said five minutes and it was a few hours. That's my bad. I take full credit, full responsibility. My bad. I hopped on a phone call and then I was busy with all of that stuff. It took a little while. Sheesh, Rolf, what's going on? Why are you putting sad faces? Don't be sad. Come on. Five minutes turned into five hours. That's that's actually facts. Yo. Advice on trying to meet you at the airport on Sunday. Yo, come through. I'm going to be at LAX, and uh, I'd love to meet as many of you guys as possible. And, of course, it's free. We're just going to hang out and take some pictures. I Like, to my L.A. homies, I thought that I would share that so that if you guys want to come to LAX on Sunday, be there. I don't know for sure what time my flight is, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, it's lagging. Yo, are we good? Is it working or am I lagging? Someone said, um, I might meet you. Yo, I'd love to meet you. Let's get some pictures. Let's do it. Advice on how to get Jacob Sartorius to come to New Zealand. Man... I'll be there anyway. You don't got to give me it. I don't have to give advice on that because it's already going to happen. I'll be everywhere. I promise. When you guys ask, like, am I coming here? Am I coming there? I'm going to be everywhere. Trust me, man. Just give it some time. Give it some time. Better with you, Dot Jacob. My Prince Jacob one. What's up? Yo, do you guys need any advice or anything? I'd love to, uh... San Fran misses you. I miss San Fran. So much love to San Fran, LA, that whole area. West Coast, love you guys. I want to touch your fluffy hair. Yo, when you meet me, guys, you can touch my hair if you want. Advice on what I should post. Man, post whatever you want. Don't post for other people, man. I see a lot of people on social media just posting for um, what they want to look good, man. And, like, 
Post whatever you want. Post it for you, not for anybody else. That's like my advice on that. Just be yourself, be authentic and real because people connect with that way better than you trying to like act like somebody you're not, you know? Good night, sweet Sartorius, I love you. Advice on being scared of change. Man, change is bound to happen in life and you just have to accept that it's going to happen and that um, nothing's going to be the same for forever, you know? And um, I think we all get scared of change sometimes, you know? It's scary. It's like a new experience. It's like you go from what you're used to and then it changes into something different. So uh, my advice on that is to just trust it, you know? And uh, know that everything's going to be okay. You'll adjust to the change and, um, yeah. I miss you, New Zealand. Aku Sinta Kamu Diva. That means I love you, Diva, in Indonesian. Hopefully I said that right. Advice on being successful. Man, just be yourself. And uh, chase your dreams. Believe in yourself. Like, I know that every person watching this has a dream inside of them. And a lot of people shut that voice down. And they uh, kind of silence that voice inside of them and just go with, like, a normal job. When in reality... You can fail at what you don't love, so you might as well fail at what you love. I love you, Adina. Advice on working hard. Hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. Remember that. There's some people that are the most talented people in the world, but if they don't put hard work in there's people running laps around them and uh hard work will always beat talent i'll say that any day of the week and advice on just working hard man find what drives you like what drives me is connecting with people and just being real with people and talking to people and sharing my story sharing my experiences sharing my view on the world and uh so yeah advice on working hard man just find what drives you and go with that and let it let it um let it push you find something that really motivates you whether it's a feeling whether it's something hard that you went through use that as motivation to do what you want to do you know advice on high school madison i hope you're doing well good to see you thank you for being in my broadcast um high school is tough and I actually have never been to a real high school, so I can't say, like, advice on the actual high school. But just know that, like, I don't know, honestly, what you need advice on in high school. So, I don't know. Getting over a heartbreak and getting through depression. Man, we're all fighting that. You just got to believe in the voice in your head that's positive. And stop choosing that negative voice inside of you, man. Because it'll beat you up and spit you out and make you feel like trash. But if you listen to the positive voice, anything's possible. Do your work and don't fall behind or you'll regret it. Facts. There is no positive voice. Well, if there's no positive voice, I want you to create one, okay? I want you to look in the mirror and I want you to accept who you are. And I want you to say to yourself, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm going to choose happiness over negativity. And I'm not going to let negativity rule my life anymore. I'm going to take it into my own hands and uh, be in control of it, you know? Advice on moving schools. Man, I move schools. I can give you advice on that. It's It's tough. Because it's like a new community of people and you don't know if you're going to fit in. You don't know how those people are going to look at you. And uh, it's always weird being like the new student to a school. But what I can say is um, the advice on being in a new school is just know that if if the people there don't like you, 
not everybody's going to like you. So stop, stop worrying about like, will they like me? Will they not? I would just go into it with the mentality of, I'm going to this new school, and um, I'm gonna be as positive as I can about the experience. And not everybody's gonna like you, but you you can meet some amazing people that weren't at your last school. So, um, and I'm sure you're gonna make tons of friends. <laughs> Advice on Jacob Sartorius. Finally seeing one of my edits. I've been editing for damn near four years and you haven't seen one. Oh my Jacobs with an X. I'm gonna check out. I'm gonna check out your edits. I'm sorry. Caitlin, thank you for the message. I love you. Advice on being shy, man. I'm shy. I'm a shy person. Whether you wanna believe it or not. I'm not I'm not the craziest. Dude, I'm, I'm actually pretty shy. It's just like when I'm in front of a camera, I actually am not shy at all. So, you know, it's, it's tough when you're shy because you're scared. There's a lot of fear behind being shy. And once you can face that fear and, and start showing who you really are, I think a lot of people are shy because of the fact that they're scared that if they're outgoing people won't like who they are. There's a ton of different reasons, a ton of different fear-based reasons why people are shy. And um, what I could say to that is just be outgoing, share who you are. Not everybody's gonna like you, so you might as well put yourself out there because people will like you for the real you and not some alternative you, you know? Appreciate you proudly, RJS. 11-11, guys, everybody make a wish. Eleven, eleven. I'm wishing for tours, music. I'm wishing for all of that. Favorite ice cream? That's a good question. I just ate banana ice cream. It was literally crazy, insane. Banana ice cream. It was dope. It was fire. Advice on getting over someone who doesn't want you. Yo, they don't want you. Don't spend your time on somebody that doesn't want to spend their time on you, man. It's just a waste of your time. You're better than that. You're beyond and better than that. So stop stop being upset over, over somebody that doesn't want to put time back to you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to find somebody that, that wants to put so much more time into you. And you're going to be so thankful that you were always true to yourself. For real. What's the coolest thing a fan has given you? Man, I've gotten the coolest stuff. I think the coolest thing a fan's ever given me is a fish. Like a live fish. Somebody literally gave me a live fish. It was literally insane. I didn't know how to react to it. God damn, I just spilled some water. <clears throat> Damn, that's T right here. High twos are Mountain Dew. Damn, that's hard. Right now, I'd say uh, I can't abandon high twos, you know? But, like, low key, I like Mountain Dew a lot. Keeps you up and uh, tastes great. I know some people hate soda, but, like, to me, I love it. I literally love it. Remember someone chucked a bra at you? Yeah, yo, at a lot of my shows, people throw panties, people throw bras, and, and like, it's cool, honestly. I don't look at it as, like, like, I don't look at it as something bad at all. 
But every time that I'm on stage and I see somebody throw like a bra or panties and all that stuff, I'm just kind of like, damn, like, I'm, I'm not like upset at all. I'm just kind of shocked. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> it's not like a, it's not like a bad thing at all. I claim your pimple. I right, bet you claim my pimple, guys. Amaze Sark claims my pimple. Yo, when will this pimple go away, bro? For real. For real. I'm tired of this pimple on my face. Do you guys know, like, how long pimples normally stay? I put some toothpaste on it earlier because uh, I thought it would, like, dry up. But it, it didn't do much. Do you guys know how long pimples normally stay? Someone said, do you smell them? <laughs> Yo, you think when somebody throws a, a bra or panties, I'm just over here smelling them? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. But, like, I, it's just kind of weird. But, like, at the same time, it's kind of dope. I guess I'm an icon sometimes. Like, on stage, I mean, when you got people throwing panties and bras at you, you kind of feel like a boss. <laughs> to be honest. Don't touch it. Laugh my ass off. I love you so much. I love you too. Depends on how well you wash your face. I'm gonna wash my face hella tonight. Damn, I just don't want this. I just don't want this on my face no more. Can anybody relate to me? Like this shit's just sitting on my face and it's not going nowhere. It's just upsetting. Someone said, do you keep them? Nah, bro. I don't keep them at all. <laughs> Literally, after the show, I, I don't even, like, see them. I think the venue, like, clears all that stuff out. But, like, yeah. Jacob over here complaining over one pimple. That's facts, but it's so annoying. I hate having it on my face. It, it, it's worse that I just have one, man, because it's so noticeable. It's literally just, like, it's annoying. Bro, I learned Love Me Back on guitar. I think that's enough dedication to claim it. Damn. Yo, that is dedication. For real. I appreciate you doing that. And you officially claim Love Me Back. King underscore Sartorius underscore JS. I appreciate you. Yo, stop lying. Why do you guys lie, bro? Please stop, man. It's obviously not cute, bro. Like, you're literally lying to yourself if you think this is cute. I love this. I love this. How are your pants always fire as fuck? Man, I told you, everybody's got to step their pants game up. I got hella pants. I'm always wearing some fresh pants, to be honest. Unless I feel lazy, then I'll just throw on some sweatpants or something. Um. You look hot with the hairstyle and earrings. Hey, appreciate you. I'm actually getting new earrings, like, I think in like a week. I just ordered them. They're dope. I'm just going to wait for you guys to see them. You guys are going to be like, yo, that's wild. You're going to be like, where did you get those? For real. I don't think nobody has them. Um, where do you shop? Gucci, Louis. Nah, I'm just kidding. I actually don't really shop there, man. I shop at Vans a lot. You know me. I'm always wearing Vans, bro. I'm not into like, like, sure, I got a Gucci backpack and that type of shit. But like, I'm not really into like wearing like, Gucci pants and stuff like that. Gucci shoes. I mean, I do have Gucci shoes, but like, whoa, there's bug in here. Um, but like, mainly I shop at Urban Outfitters, to be honest. That's like one of my favorite places. One of my favorite places. Um, Top Man's cool too. Um, Zoomies is fire. Remember, yo, who remembers this? A long ass time ago, 
I would wear this one uh, hoodie from Zoomies, and then in all my meet and greets, all you guys would like wear that hoodie, and it was so cool. But uh, Zoomies never let me have my own hoodie in their store. That would have been so lit, literally. Uh, what was your inspiration for the new music? Man, heartbreak. My last relationship, to be honest. I think it's pretty obvious when you listen to it. Like, uh, just heartbreak. But, like, my new stuff's a lot, a lot cooler, man. Like, I'm super, super hyped. You know, like, I think it's about to take over. I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, say too much, but, like, man, I'm really excited. I got a lot of cool stuff in the works. And, uh, yeah, man. I'm really hyped. I love you so fucking much. Like, please love me. I do love you. I love everybody in this broadcast, man. The fact that it's 11.20 at night and you guys are in here showing love means a lot to me. You know? It really does. I'm glad I got to go live. Like, yo, every day, like I said, I'm going live. And I'm sorry today I didn't do, like, a long broadcast during the day. That's my bad. I had to take care of some work stuff. And I know, like, I'm a businessman. But, like, nah, for real. And it's, and it's like, I'm working for you guys. It all has to do with you guys, for real. So uh, I genuinely love you guys, and uh, I'm working really, really hard for you guys. And it's all, it's, you're going to see everything that I'm working on very, very shortly in the near future. Man, I, I don't mess with this hair. Bro, like, I don't know if I regret doing this, but, like, low-key, maybe. How is your haircut? Yo, that's exactly what I'm just talking about, bro. I don't know if I like it. I just got to get used to it. I hope it grows out a little bit. Like, right now, it's kind of just like... But, uh... Am I lit? You're lit. <laughs> You're dope. Will you ever visit Hawaii? Yo, I've been to Hawaii one time. But not for, like, tour or anything. And I did have a Hawaii show booked, man. But they canceled it. So, I'm sorry to all my fans out in Hawaii. For real, man. I was super excited to do that show. But it got canceled. Due to, like, reasons out of my control. And, um, I'm gonna be back in Hawaii one day. I promise you that. And, uh, it'll be a really, really dope... Um, really dope show. Should I dye my hair? Yo, do whatever you want. Whatever makes you feel like you're expressing yourself the most. Like, yo, with this hair, man, it's not like I literally, it's not like I, like, wanted the whole front blonde. I thought I was just gonna get different. I, I'm not good at, like, expressing what I really want. So, like, when I went to, like, the place, well, it's actually just one person. She has her own studio. And, like, I walked in there, and I was like, yeah, I want to get, like, blonde. Like, I thought it was going to be, like, little streaks, but literally, like, the whole front of my head is blonde, bro. Like, I don't know if I like it. I might get it, uh, I might get it touched up. I don't know. Do you have a car? No, I don't. I'm going to get one, though. You best believe. Have you ever had glasses? Yo, so, like, I went to an eye doctor hella long ago. They prescribed me reading glasses, but I never wore them. And, like, my eyes get strained sometimes, so it's kind of annoying. But, like, I probably I have to go in for, like, a new eye test or whatever, so I might be wearing glasses. But you know they're going to be swaggy if I got to wear glasses. I'm going to look so weird in glasses, bro. I definitely won't be wearing them on my live streams. <laughs> Yo, dude, why do you do that? Why are you coveting this? This person. You know who you are. You keep asking that question, bro. It's just like, I won't click on it. If you think I'm going to click on it, you're actually insane, bro. I 
I like your hair. Appreciate it. I don't know if I like it, but like I really appreciate you saying that. Oh, this is a good question. G wagon or a Jeep? I would say a G wagon. Those things are fresh, bro. Literally so fresh. I would love a G wagon. But I don't know what my first car would be. I think a Bentley. Bentley, probably. So I gotta work my ass off to get a Bentley. I'm gonna scoop you guys up in the Bentley. Is that cool? Bro. Um. You're about to hit 1K. Everybody go. Uh, everybody go follow TBF Jacob. She's about to hit 1K. Where are you from? I was born in Oklahoma, raised in Virginia, and now I have a house in LA and a house in Virginia. I'm gonna go quick with these questions. I'm gonna try to like do a speed round and just answer as many as I can. TikTok or Insta? Insta. Do you like Escape the Night? I've never seen it. I don't know what that is, to be honest. Is that bad? What's your dream car? Um, like I said, probably a Bentley or a Lamborghini. Maybe a G-Wagon. I'm kind of conflicted. I, I'm not going to pick one. one. New music? It's coming, baby. Like I said, Sartorians are taking over. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Um, Apple or Android? I've always had Apple, so I'm going to say Apple. Do you hate me? Ali, I do not hate you. I really appreciate you for being in my broadcast. I hope you're doing well. I love your positivity. Ah, oh, thank you. Appreciate it. What's your favorite color? I would say pink or purple or blue. I'm really indecisive. It kind of changes a lot. Say something in Spanish. Uh, me amo Jacobo, donde esta el baño? El, no, I was about to cuss in Spanish, but I'm not gonna. Hey, any tattoos you're thinking of? Yo, I, hold up. Yo, literally, there was DMs popping up, and I by accidentally clicked on it. Um, Any tattoos you're thinking of? Yo, I was actually talking to my mom today about it. Like, if she'll let me get one for my 17th birthday. I, I really want to get one. I'm kind of conflicted on what I would actually get, but like... I know I want a tattoo, and I know once I'm 18, I'm gonna have tattoos probably from my neck down. So like, my parents should just let me get one. But I, I completely get it, like that my parents don't want me to get tattoos because you know like, I don't know, they they kind of think it's whack. But I know I know a lot of people that don't want me to get tattoos. But like, hopefully you guys stick with me. Like you'll still love me the same. I really hope so. Advice on how to move on. Man, the heart wants what it wants. Is that like a Selena Gomez song? But like, that's facts. Like, low key, that's mad facts. The heart wants what it wants. But at the same time, it just takes time. It takes time. So don't, don't like put some pressure on yourself that you don't need. Thoughts on piercings. Man, I got my ears pierced. What you mean? I love piercings. I would probably get another piercing. Yo, I might get one soon just to do it. I'm trying to, like, switch something up, you know? I got new hair. Maybe get an eyebrow piercing or a nose piercing. Something like that. Maybe once this pimple goes away. <laughs> Would you ever follow me, like, ever? You know what? Let me grab my computer. And the answer is yes. I'm going to follow you right after this broadcast. Let me, uh... And I just want to let you know, hip like SJS, I really appreciate you. And um, thank you for um, thank you for everything you do. Hip like SJS. Appreciate you. I'm going to give you a follow right after.
cool. Got you. I love you. I love you, Isabella. Oh, actually not, guys. I wouldn't get my eyebrow. I'm thinking about it more. I wouldn't get my eyebrow ever. I don't know why I said that. Maybe my nose, like a little stud, or just more on one of my ears or something. Um, Xbox or PlayStation? I always play on Xbox, so I'm going to have to ride with Xbox. Actually, yeah, Xbox, even though I have a PS4. I love you so much. I love you too. What age were you when you found out you were adopted and did you always know? Yeah, um, I think I was like seven when I found out. Because if, if it's earlier than that, I wouldn't have been able to understand what that means. What about your belly button? Yo, I would never get my belly button pierced, to be honest. Like, that's just not... I would never get my body pierced. It would have to be, like, somewhere on my face, man. Probably just my ears. I don't know if, if I would even do my nose. It's just, like, an idea. But it would probably never happen. I'd probably get a tattoo on my face before I ta uh, get a piercing on my body. Um, do you think teenagers so far have a positive or negative influence in the world? Wow, that's kind of deep, but like, I don't really know. I think teenagers have a really positive influence. And if they have a negative one, that can change, man. I think my goal is just to impact people in a positive way and just show that like, it's cool to be nice. It's cool to spread love. I'm trying to make it cool, if that makes sense. You know, because I see a lot of people that are like, oh, it's cool to be like a dick and an asshole. And it's cool to bring other people down. And to be honest, I think it's cool to spread love and spread positivity. And I'm trying to make that cool, man. Because, um, you know, I feel like so many people in the world right now are spreading negativity. But it's not too late, man. I actually believe in our generation because we're so truthful. If you look at the past generations, I feel like they kind of conform to society. But this generation, man, we're so different and unique. And I really respect our generation. And I think we're going to do amazing things and, all, and be remembered in history, all of us, because we're all so different. Do you believe in God? All right, this is actually a good question. I grew up Christian. And then after I was about 10 or 11, I kind of stopped uh, believing in that. And it's not that I don't believe in God. I just don't know at this point. I, I, I kind of made the decision for myself to stop trying to figure it out. And I know there's something out there, man. I, I believe that the universe is a great place. And um, I, I know there's something out there because, man, look at life. This is beautiful, man. So, but I don't, I don't necessarily believe in God. No. How do you deal with anxiety? Man, anxiety's tough, but uh, it's something that over time you kind of uh, get better at dealing with. So it's not something that just happens overnight where you're like, no, I'm not anxious anymore, man. I'm one of the most anxious people. I'm tapping my feet right now. Like, you know, I'm always going to have anxiety. My brain runs 400 miles per hour, and I think that's a big reason uh, to why I do what I do because... Um, writing music, I spread my love and my thoughts, and like in interviews, I just talk, and I'm I'm able to like kind of ride on one stream of consciousness and be able to share that with people. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a good one. Um, what is your best pickup line? Hey, baby. On a scale of uh, 1 to 10, you're a 9, and I'm the one you need. Nah, that. Yo, that's probably my best pickup line. <laughs> I don't know. I literally don't know. Why you look so fine in black? 
Man, I don't know. I just threw this on. I was actually wearing a different t-shirt today, but uh, I got tired of wearing it. This, the fabric of this shirt's so much softer and nicer. Like, I wasn't really messing too. Everybody's saying Bill Jensen's gonna get on me, bro. Like, if he really believes in that all that shit, man, he would actually love. Uh, people enough to like stop like forcing it onto people bro i think that's mad annoying like you know just let people have their own opinions bro that's why i don't talk about that type of stuff because everybody's like gets so upset about it and it's like bro i got my own opinions on how i view the world like you know Maybe one day I will, like, be super religious, man. But as of right now, I'm not trying to focus on that. Like, I focus on my career and working hard and family. And I focus on just spreading love. And, like, I talk to the universe, man. So, like, I do believe in something out there, you know? Dude, that's a fire ass. That's a fire ass pickup line. I like Legos. You like Legos. Why don't we build a relationship? Yo, can I tweet that? Do I have permission? Do I have permission, my King JS 2.0? Please. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tweet it unless I have permission. But like, yo, that's fire. I gotta I gotta tweet that. Yo, that's crazy. I'm writing that down though for sure. I like Legos, you like Legos, why don't we build a relationship? Yo, that's mad funny. <laughs> Yo, that's mad funny. Someone said I don't follow her? Yo, I don't follow you? Let me follow you. I have to. That was That literally won my heart over. If you want the truth. My dot king js dot two oh wait dot two point oh fire. I'ma follow you and if I have permission to tweet that, I'm gonna tweet that. Y'all go show some love on my Twitter, bro. That's fire. Everybody retweet it, please. Let's make that shit go viral. When you hit 3K, you have to body roll. Bro, I grinded last night. Like, I'm not doing no more of that. My mom's gonna whoop my ass. Damn. What's cuter, soccer girls or cheer girls? Damn. I don't want to, like... <laughs> Can I say both? Like, yo, low-key, those soccer girls, like... If my girlfriend was at soccer practice, I'd be sitting on, like, the sideline. And then when she wants a water break, like, I'd low-key just give her a kiss. I think that would be mad cute. Like, yo, that would be mad cute, bro. So I'd say soccer girls. But, like, I also love the cheer girls, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me an A. But, like, at the same time, if my girl can play soccer, sheesh. God damn. Oh my gosh, y'all are killing the pickup lines. Are you French? Because I felt Eiffel. I felt Eiffel for you. I mean, that one's like cool, but like Eiffel, like I fall. I get. Like, it's good. I, I like it. But like, I, I like it like when you read it, but like when you say it out loud, it's like Eiffel for you. Sheesh! I'm a small singer and need advice on how to get myself more out there. Yo, I'd love to give you some advice. Um, believe in yourself. Write truthful music. Don't, don't say anything out of your mouth or don't sing anything out of your mouth that you don't believe. And uh, take any opportunity you can, man. That's the key to success. There's, in life, there's always doors. There's always doors, right? And you could choose to like walk past them or open that shit. And I want you to open every single door and opportunity that you see. And that's the key. Because one of those things could lead you to the top, baby. I believe in you. 
Mika, what's up? How are you? For some reason, I was feeling a little off today, but when you came along, you definitely turned me on. I thought this was going to be something so different. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I was not expecting that. I thought it was going to be like, I was feeling off, but your live stream made me feel happy. <laughs> but like, uh. Yo, thank you, Mika. Yo, my hair does not look good. Don't lie to me. I don't really like it, to be honest. How's Caroline been? Good, good. Um, we actually went and got ice cream. That's who I went with. It was two of her friends and me. And I got shotgun in the car because I had, I had the aux cord. Because I got the best taste in music out of all four of us. And that's the tea. Like, if I'm in a car with you guys, for real, please let me get aux. Because, like, big facts, my taste in music's pretty fire. That's why, like, yo, when I had the Sartorian Top 25 playlist, who listened to that? Like, I had the bops on there. Like... Someone said, fix your hair. All right. Uh, but, yo, I had the bops on that playlist. I need to get that shit going again. What's your favorite outfit? Wait, Mika, do, did you say gonna come to L.A. soon? Like, are you in L.A. right now? Because I'll be there on Sunday. But, but, like, or are you gonna come to L.A. soon? That's fire. I'll be there. Um... What's it called? My favorite outfit is something I haven't worn yet. But, yo, these are brand new pants. I don't know if you guys noticed. But, like, I really vibe with them. And they're comfy. And I feel like a savage in them. So that's all that matters. Um, You're so hot. Stop lying. Stop playing with me. Can you follow? I've been with you since Vines. Yo, I, I appreciate you guys, man. It's crazy to see that, like, that people have been with me since Vine, bro. I can't even remember how old I was, probably like 9 or 10 when I started Vine. And I would say my mom ran my account because I didn't want to get, uh, like, uh, banned because you had to be, like, 13 or something. There were some age requirements, and I remember I lied, bro. I put, like, account managed by my mom. And that's what's so annoying, all these articles that I read. They're like, Jacob's mom runs his social media. Bro, my mom don't even know how to work a smartphone, let alone run an Instagram page, bro. I've been running that shit since the beginning. I've been running that shit. I was a finesser, though. Like, you gotta give it to me. If if the creators of Vine, like, if they, if they heard this, like, for real, I finessed it. Same to Instagram. I said, account managed by mom, and then once I hit 13... I was like, psych! What is your favorite shoe brand? Yo. Vans, bro. That's the only shoe I wear, to be honest. I got crazy Vans. Hold up. I got hella different types. I got these Vans. Exclusives. I got these Vans, they're fresh, colorful. I, I got tons of pairs of Vans. Like, I probably have over 10 to 15 pairs. But those are just some of my favorites. But I don't know, the past couple of days I've been rocking with the all blacks. And then I have a pair of all whites. And, like, I kind of like the simple. Because if, like, my pants are all camo and crazy, like, I literally love having them. Um, I love just having like something simple on the shoes, but um, I think I'm gonna wear the all whites tomorrow, but I don't know. Yo, I'll show you guys, yo. Actually, I don't wanna show you my outfit for tomorrow yet, but low key, this shit's fire. It just came in today. Brand new jeans. Sheesh. Yo, I didn't even know they had rips in them, that's fire. Yo, they might be too big, to be honest. I just put them up to my legs, bro. They look a lot longer. I don't know. But I'm hyped to wear those. I love clothes, man. Like, that's kind of uh, my bad habit. Like, I always, um, I'm always shopping. Like, I'm always on Urban Outfitters looking at the joggers because, like, 
I don't know. I just love feeling like I'm wearing a fresh outfit. That's the best feeling for me. Um, yeah. But like these, these camo pants, by the way, and to anybody out there that's like, oh, he's so um, like bougie, like all that stuff. Bro, I, I wear the same clothes a lot. Like I, I literally have been wearing these camo pants. Wait, I'll show you. I bu How long do you guys know that I've been wearing these though? A long ass time, bro. Literally years. It's got to be at least a year that I've had those. And I literally loved them so much. But, like, I've gotten taller since then. So I had to upgrade. Get a new pair of the camos. Because, um, literally love them. Shoe size. I'm, like, at 8. Or, wait. Yeah, I'm at 8 in Vans. So if you guys want to get me Vans at a meet and greet, remember, I'm a size 8. Literally, I'll put you guys on my story if you got me Vans. That would be crazy. But, like, don't get me Vans I already have. That's going to be the hard thing. Nah, never mind. Don't get me Vans. How tall are you? Yeah, two years that I've worn those jeans, somebody commented. Um, how tall are you? I am 5'9". Five 5'9", nine. Five nine, I'd say. Yo, that's fire. I put the singing single for real, man. I'm probably... If you look up single on Google, it'll show a picture of me. <laughs> Are you going on tour? Yo, I will be soon, man. Stay tuned for this new music. You're gonna see it. Trust me. If what I just talked about with my managers goes to real life, man, you're gonna see the m new music and you're gonna be like, sheesh, man, he's back on top. For real, man. I'm really excited. And I, I, I'm like... I literally, my excitement is like, my heart's even beating talking about it. So, and everybody's gonna be like, of course it's beating, but like, man, that it sped up when I just thought about what could happen. So I'm really hyped. So tour, yes, it will happen, but I can't wait, bro. You guys are gonna love this new music. Like, oh my gosh, man, it's some of the best stuff I've ever written in my life, bro. And that's my opinion. You might think otherwise, but... I'm literally so excited. Like, it's going to be on your phones very shortly. Stay tuned. You're going to be listening. And it's like, it's more universal. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like um, something that you can't relate to. This, is, These songs are, are very, very relatable. And I'm super, super excited for you guys to hear them. I don't even know why I keep hyping the songs up. Because it's, it's going to be a little while. But, like... It's going to be worth the wait, and I'll be live every day, so you'll still get to hang out with the boy, and you can stream my music that um, is already out. I'd appreciate that, and uh, the new music's coming, though. It's in the works right now. I know, I need to stop teasing it because it's going to be a little while, and I always do this where I'm like, new music coming soon, and then everybody, I see all these memes on my page where it's like, soon to Jacob is a year, but like, bro, it's happening. It's happening. Even if there was no gravity on Earth, I'd still fall for you. Well, if there's no gravity on Earth, uh, you wouldn't. You just wouldn't. No, I'm just kidding. But, like, you wouldn't. You just wouldn't. Would you? Well, you couldn't. <laughs> I don't want to make you feel bad. That was a good pickup line. I like it. Do something hot for an edit. Uh, all right. Yo, what's up, baby? I don't know what the hell that was. Make five different um emoji faces. All right, bet. Uh, the crying one. Uh, the laughing one. The... The one that's unsure. The monkey. The... Ah, man, what's the last one? Somebody give me an emoji. Comment emojis, please. Help me out here. Uh, the... Oh, the... Man, killed that. Five emojis. Got it. Got them.
Hey, she just hit 1K. Everybody congratulate Positive Jacobs on hitting 1K. Man, you guys are growing. You guys are blowing up, man. I like it. Um, What size of clothes do you wear? Uh, These jeans. Wait, I'd have to, like, take off the pants, too. And I'm not going to do that. I am not taking off my pants, and you will not make me. But uh, probably, like, a 30... Wait, hold on. It says on these... Oh, it just says medium on here. That might be too big. Hold up. I don't know. Those pants are too small. Probably, I don't even know. I have no idea. But in shirts, I'm a large. Adult large. I just hit 2K. Better with JS. Man, everybody follow all my fan pages. Please do that for me. Man, I love to see my fan pages succeed. It's one of the best feelings in the world. I'm so proud of you guys, for real. You guys are killing it. Literally killing it. Please share love through this community and follow each other, become friends with each other. There's no better feeling than to know that I have created something where people can meet people online. And I see people meeting up together and they're good friends. And that warms my heart to see that, like, you guys have met through this. And it's such, like, a great feeling. I don't know how to explain it. Um, can you post an ab pic later? Yo, maybe, because if I go to the gym, if I go to the gym, then yeah. But it's ar- it's already low-key late. Damn, I always, I always say I'm going to the gym, and then it never happens. 90-day challenge, I did it, though. Now, since I'm off the 90-day challenge, it's like, man, that shit was hard, though. I'm not even about to cap to you guys. Like, that shit was mad hard. Going to the gym every single day, finding time to go every single day for 90 days. Like, it got built into my schedule. Like, my team, if I had a meeting one day, they'd be like, literally, they'd, um, they'd be like, okay, in my schedule. I have a schedule, by the way, in my phone and shit. Oh, my God, there's a bug. Should I kill it? Dude, oh, my, it just flew, bro. Oh, my God, um... But my team literally built into my schedule. I'm low-key scared as hell. Um, but Oh, it's on the Vans box. Hold up. Oh, dude. It, bro. It's literally this big, but it's scaring the hell out. Dude, it's flying. No. I don't mess with that. That is not my cup of tea. Um, but, yo, my team built into the schedule. Like, he's going to go to the gym at this time. They built it out for me. So, like, and it wasn't even their idea to do 90 days in the gym. But I'm just saying, like, they helped me out. Um... They just helped me out a ton. Yo, I'm looking for this bug. I, this is not cool. This, I, That's not cool. It could be in my bed right now, dude. I'm low-key freaking out. Why am I so scared of bugs, dude? Like, I'm not scared of any other animal besides a snake. And I don't really know what else. But, like, I'm low-key terrified. Holy shit. Was your nickname Jacob Sartorius? No, it wasn't. My nickname wasn't. My nickname was Jacob. Or my middle name's Jacob. People always called me Jacob growing up. I didn't even know my real name was Rolf until I was like 10, dude. How sad is that? Because I've always been called that. And then I was like... Why is my name just not that? Like, why was I named Rolf when, like, I never got called that? But now I'm starting to embrace it, bro. It's it's dope. You're so cute when you're scared. Uh, was your nickname Jacob Satorius? It wasn't. My nickname was not that. It's not that. It's, <laughs> has anybody seen Danny Duncan, bro? He goes, it's not that. Would you ever buy Crocs? I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever buy Crocs, to be honest. Like, they seem dope, but, like, I used to wear those when I was, like, six, dude. They're cozy. They're co- they're cozy, though. I'll give you that. What nickname do you hate being called by? Jacob Saggy Titties. It's probably the worst nickname ever in the whole world of existence. Like, dude... Jacob Saggy Titties, are you kidding me? 
You could have been a little bit more creative. Like, ha, ha, ha. Dude, your name's Jacob Saggy Titties. Like, cool, dude. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, dude, you don't have anything else. Like, you know. It's whatever, though. Kind of makes me laugh, though. Bro, don't mess with me like this. Like, literally, stop it. I love you, Hype Jacob with an X. Like, I dearly love you, but, like, this is kind of scaring me right now. And I'm a little bit uncomfortable. I don't know how I feel about it. Don't know how I feel about this. Damn, my phone's about to die. I didn't even think about that. I'm wearing bingo merch. Sarah, I freaking love you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, my titties ain't even saggy, bro. Look at this. Oh, I see the bug. Hold up. Watch this. Yeah, bro. You like that? I killed him with a Gucci hat. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know, bruh. Is there a chance you'll ever notice me? Mr. or MRC Nest. I just noticed you, and I love your account. I hope you're doing well. Let's see. Who's, who's your inspiration? My fans. That's who I do it for. But I'd say my fans inspire me the most because to know that I can impact people ma makes me just want to work my ass off. And I'm just so thankful. Literally so grateful. Shout out me, please. It's me, Addison1427, man. Best account on Instagram, dude. Go follow it right now, dude. Like, if you're not following her, man, I'll be mad, brah. Was that good promo? Like, that, that was probably good, right? That's probably really good. Super good, man. <laughs> Why do you have to be so handsome? Why do you have to be so gosh damn beautiful? Oh, damn. Instagram's giving me the countdown. Man, this shit stresses me out, bro. But, uh, like three years. She doesn't know it, though, but, like, it's official. It's official. Like, if you asked her, she probably would just say no, because the only reason she would say no is just because she's scared to tell you guys. But, like, I know <laughs> we've been dating for a while, guys. Like... It, it was love at first sight. When I first met her, I could tell that I was going to spend the rest of my life with her. And to be quite honest, I looked at her and said, that is the girl I want to live my life with. And she looked at me and said, God damn, you're, you're so beautiful. And I was like, really? You like me, huh? And she was like, yeah, I really do. And then I woke up and I realized that none of that ever happened. Yeah. Dude, I literally have 49 seconds. I'm about to save this for you guys and then go live again. Man, we out here grinding, bro. 2,600 viewers, man. Thank you for watching. Um, For real, though, I'm about to, um, about to literally, literally 30 seconds. But I'm just going to start another one. So, 25, 24. Yo, everybody do a countdown in the chat. It's at 20 right now. So, 17, 16, 15.
four seconds, man. <laughs>